Brace yourself for this. We now have acid squirting land lobsters from hell in Texas. Dr. Holly Davis is an assistant professor of entomology at Texas A&M. She joins me live. All right, we can't say this enough this morning because we just can't get over what, the, what they're called. So Big Bend National Park shared a picture earlier this week saying these things are coming out of their burrows because of all the rain. Um, do they pose any danger to humans, to people? No, no, despite their terrifying appearance um, that causes a lot of concern, they're actually quite harmless. Um, they're closely related to a spider or a scorpion. They are a type of arachnid. However, they lack any venom glands, so they can't bite like a spider. And that whip tail that, that they have um, is not capable of delivering a sting. Their best and only defense is that acid that they squirt, which again, despite sounding terrifying, it consists 85% of acetic acid, which most of us know more commonly as vinegar. Oh, okay. So even though they look like something from a sci-fi film, they're relatively harmless, as you say. Um, what if, what, when would they, you know, when would we have to worry if we, if we like annoy them or, or poke them or get too close? Yes. Is that a situation that could happen then? Absolutely. I mean, like many, many things out there, um, it's best to observe them, but leave them alone. Um, they are predatory and they do have large pinchers, as you can see in the, in the, in the photos of them. They have well-developed pinchers that they use for catching and chewing up, feeding on their prey. And those can deliver a quite painful pinch. Um, so it's best not to pick them up and, and handle them. Um, you know, if you see one, great, take a picture, but, you know, keep your distance and, and respect their um, whatever they're doing and leave them to it. Sure. And I understand they're nocturnal, so we'll just hope they don't show up in anybody's bed, you know, when they're camping out at, out at Big Bend. Have you heard of them here in Houston or is this just a West Texas, you know, desert environment kind of thing? They prefer a dry, more arid environment. So they're going to be more common in West Texas areas, um, but it's possible to find them in, in grasslands and, and other areas, although it's probably not going to be very likely. Nothing you have to worry about when you when you go to bed tonight. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, what do they eat, by the way? Uh, they're predatory on other insects and arthropods. Um, like, you, like you mentioned, they are nocturnal. Um, like spiders and other arachnids, they do have eight eyes, but they do not see very well at all. Um, they come out at night and they move around. They're active hunters. They pick up on vibrations. And again, if you'll notice, those front legs look more like antennas, and they use those to feel around their environment because they just don't see very well. So they're active hunters. They'll feed on pretty much any other insect that they can catch, cockroaches, crickets, uh, millipedes, and, and other insects like that. Oh my goodness. Well, I have to say, I have lived in Texas a long time. I've never seen one. So I'm going to be um, on the lookout, especially if I head out toward the San Antonio area. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you.